With some breaking news and really a stunning report from the MBTA, the new Green Line extension has so many defects that workers essentially need to redo all of it. Now, this was a much anticipated five mile stretch. You'll remember that opened less than a year ago. WBZ's Brandon Truitt's live in Somerville. Brandon, the MBTA knew there were problems, but had no idea there were this many. Yeah, David and Lisa, there were a lot of headlines from the general manager today. Not the least of them is this. The MBTA knew of these track problems, but continued with the project anyway, and now they're trying to find the best way to fix it. The goal is to make sure now that we're aware of this situation, um, that they're addressed timely, addressed properly. Um, so these situations not continue to repeat. MBTA General Manager Philip Ng Thursday revealing the track issues along the Green Line extensions are worse than originally thought. Ng says about half of the Union Square extension and 80% of the Medford Tough Extension's tracks were installed too close together. They're off by an eighth of an inch. Ng says it's still safe to operate the trains on the line, but it explains those slow zones riders have been facing for months. One would think they would have thought it through a little bit before they built it, um, but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, so it goes. Everything's always under construction. Ng says the gauges that hold the track to the wooden rail ties were pre installed incorrectly off site. Even worse, Ng says MBTA leadership knew about the issue starting in April of 2021, but continued with construction anyway. It really shows uh, how during the past administration, the, the, the culture of, of austerity and, and the, the culture of, of of, you know, not having accountability and secrecy, you know, has really led us to this place. Public transportation advocates are eager to learn more about the fix. Ng says he's reviewing plans from construction companies who he says will pay for this. It's not going to be years. It's not going to be months. The proposal that we have is um, weeks and it, it's um, something that we're still reviewing. So again, the general manager says that the trains are still safe to ride and to operate, but he wants to fix the problems before they get any worse. This $2.3 billion extension in need of more repair. Live in Somerville, Brandon True at WBZ News. Brandon, thank you. Now, I just spoke with Governor Healy, who says she's frustrated that T General Manager Philip Bang wasn't told about the scope of the problems and that MBTA leadership in the previous administration knew how bad it was. This is something that happened under the prior T administration. It happened last year. This line, the Green Line extension, opened even though senior T officials, it appears, knew that there were some issues, didn't disclose that, didn't address that. Our team, we're fixing that, and we're fixing it now. The Green Line extension right now is entirely safe, okay? I want people to know that. Governor Healy says she's focused on making sure the issues are fixed, that confidence in the T is restored, and that taxpayers do not foot the bill for this.